Hi, so I want to demonstrate here the transfer of my Ticketmaster tickets. So I am actually on my phone on the website itself. So I'm preferring the website over the app because the website actually allows me to do multi-select. So I could transfer multiple uh, tickets uh, to one email versus one by one in the app. So I'm going to prefer the website itself. So I'm on the main screen where my events are and I'm going to tap. And when I tap here, um, I'm going to scroll and you can see here it shows the tickets and it shows I have two safe ticks. So the safe ticks can only be displayed on the phone itself. And there's a button here, transfer tickets. And tap on transfer tickets. It's going to let me select. And I can multi-select. So I'm going to choose the two tickets. I'm going to push continue. And at this point, it might prompt me for a phone code, but it hasn't here. So when I fill this in, basically it's going to send a link to the person to actually install the Ticketmaster app and receive the tickets. So once I put in the name and then the email address, the email address being the most important. So that could be sent to an email address that might not already have Ticketmaster installed or a Ticketmaster account, but they'll have to open one. Um, but that's really it. That's really the process. I, I was a bit concerned with whether I had to send all of the tickets or whether I could choose individually the tickets I, I want to transfer. So for example, uh, with two tickets here, I could actually just transfer one ticket, which is, a, you know, in, in case I'm selling it to somebody or that, um, you know, I'm, I want to, I bought a bunch of tickets and I want to send it to each individual. So that's also a possibility. So if I'm just sending one and I do continue and I could send them one at a time. So once again, once the person receives the email on the other side, uh, now, if they don't accept, there's a chance that they don't accept. So if they don't accept, what's going to happen is it in the list, it's actually going to show you that they haven't accepted yet, you know, that they're pending accepting the ticket. So these these tickets here will not disappear. It will show that the person it, the, it was transferred to a particular person. So that history will always be there. So just keep that in mind. Now once you push send, this screen will come up and it'll basically say that you could actually cancel the transfer at any time as long as the person has not accepted. Now if I go back to the ticket screen, it will actually have a history of the transfers and also the status of the transfer, whether that person has accepted yet or not. So it's going to be pretty clear what the status is and you won't be you know, guessing as to whether it's in limbo. Um, but that's really it. That's really what I want to show and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.